Okay, grade 10s. It is time to choose your courses for next year in grade 11. Like before, you log into your BYOD account, click on resources, and select the My Blueprint chiclet from the bottom corner here, and you'll find yourself on your dashboard, which looks just like this one over here. You're going to click on View Courses, and you're going to see your plan. Now, you'll see your grade 9 completed courses here, along with marks from grade 9. You'll see your current year of courses you selected here in grade 10 that you're currently taking on your timetable. And here you are planning for grade 11. You will notice that in grade 11 there are uh, a couple ghosted in images for you because you must take grade 11 English. You must take grade 11 math. And here at Jazz you must take grade 11 activism, social innovation, leadership course. Which leaves you with 8 minus 3, 5 optional courses for grade 11. Once again, just as a reminder, you click on the area that you're, the course area. You'll find yourself here. This is a grade 11 course you're looking at now. Please make sure you do look at the course title to ensure it says grade 11. Choose either college, workplace, or university. This is small writing. Please make sure you choose the correct courses. If you have any questions about the course offers, when you click on it, you'll see a description of the course here. Once you've selected the correct course, click on Add Courses. The same thing for math. You'll find whichever math you would like. And in math, there are three types. There's college math, university math, and mixed math. What is the difference between mixed math and university math? Depending which one you take will determine which courses you take in grade 12 for math. If you need to take calculus and advanced functions, then you must take this university math. If you just want to take data management only, or no math at all in grade 12, you can take the mixed math or even the college math if you're not taking math in the following year. The fourth math is called the workplace math, and this is for students who will be working at the essentials level in grade 9 and in grade 10, and for those who just need to finish off the third required math for graduation. So you select whichever courses that you're taking, click on Add Course, and then I want to look at the activism course, which is your third compulsory course here at Jean Augustine under the Activism tab. You'll find it here is called Activism Project. It is an independent project-based course, and that will complete your compulsory courses for grade 11, leaving you with five spots to choose whichever courses you want for, grade, for the rest of grade 11. When you do click on courses, you'll find all of these little folders with all the different courses that are offered at Jean Augustine in grade 11 and grade 12. So to help you choose the right courses, please make sure you look at the course calendar. All of the course folders are set up exactly the same as on the course calendar. You can look at all the grade 11 courses here in this column. Make sure you do, you do match up the correct course code with the course title of the course that you want to take. You don't want to pick on ATC3MO thinking that you need visual arts and then come in the fall you're actually learning how to dance. So make sure you, that you do choose the correct courses that are available here. Uh, all the way through grade 11. If you have any questions about prerequisite courses for grade 11, make sure that you, you, you check with your guidance counselor or you may speak with the teacher directly. Something new as an opportunity for you in grade 11 or also in grade 12 is co-op. Cooperative education is an opportunity for students, here it is in this box over here, to go out to the workplace and earn credits instead of money. It gives you real life experience, it gives you experience in a career sector that you might be interested in, and there are two options. Two credit would be half a day, which means that you would come in the morning, go to period one and period two, and then at lunchtime leave to go to your job. And you work from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock for the entire semester that way. The other option is so they call it a four credit co-op, which is an entire semester of working. Uh, again, you may also take a look at what we call dual credit programs. Please make sure you do speak to your guidance counselor about dual credit programs which offer an opportunity to study at the college level while still in high school, fully paid, and fully paid including transportation. Now if I do select two credit co-op, I have to remember that that actually represents two spots on my timetable. So if you look here, that takes up two slots on my timetable here, okay? So I have to make sure I leave enough room on my timetable on my course selections to make sure I do get that. So I have English, Math, Activism, and Law, 
that's four, five, and six, which is French and invasion territories, and my two credit co-op. If I was doing four credit co-op, that would take up the entire, like half of my planning area. So please make sure that you are fully aware of that before you select co-op. Once you have selected your courses, please click on review course selections. If you get an alert, press yes, and it will alert you to some issues that may happen in your, on the following screen. Now, because I don't have a full grade 10 timetable filled out, I have a lot of prerequisites not met. Uh, if you have the same situation, make sure you do have the proper prerequisite. For example, make sure you have grade 10 academic English and make sure you have grade 10 least essential college or academic uh, math. In this situation, as I'm reviewing, I realize, oh, this is really odd. How come I picked French? I don't take French. I didn't take it in grade nine, in grade 10 and it had no intention of taking that at all. I made a mistake. So in this case, just go back to your high school planner. I'll find French on my plan, click on the three dots and delete. And then I can go ahead and pick any other course that I might be interested in, for example, marketing. Once I've completed my plan again, I will then review one more time. You can share this with your parents as well, of course. Once you are 100% sure, if you have any questions about these red, if you have any red issues, red X's, please make sure you do speak with your guidance counselor and we can ensure that those things get uh, taken care of. And then once you're done, you click on submit courses. Uh, once you have uh, submitted your courses, you'll then have a message that says success and a print sign off sheet. You can print off the sign off sheet. We don't need it back in the main office, but it is something for you to keep hold of. Share with your parents, hold on until you get your timetable in the fall to make sure everything is going well. Um, the window does finish at the end of December, but you can always make timetable changes all the way until next fall, as you re probably recall from last year. Thank you, everybody. Hope you have a great time for the rest of grade 10 and an awesome year in grade 11.